Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, 17 September. Day before FOMC. Very exciting for that little puppy. But before we talk about that, let's talk about today and what's going on and how we're going to make some money. Uh, Aussie last night finally rolled over for us. Uh, short Aussie through 50 uh, seems to be the correct position. Core short in general now. Uh, you can resell between 50 and 60 if you did not uh, get up at uh, 4 a.m. last night for this and just core short being careful though and mindful that you're not going to be able to carry this into FOMC so trade for an average trade for P&L um, but uh, Aussie finally uh, rolled over after seeming like endless days of purchases so since the 9th, this thing was just stuck between 50 and sort of 75, 80, 50, 80. Uh, but now it's rolled over. This allows Aussie, Euro Aussie, our old friend, uh, to move back north. You get to add uh, to your Euro Aussie longs through 160, 166. If you're still holding those in uh, or sort of a trend book or medium term book, uh, this makes a lot of sense to us. We do think Euro Aussie's on its way back up to 167. Let's take a look at crude. I mean, crazy town, right? I mean, closed. So bullish yesterday. You know, 14, 15% up. A little bit lower now, but this is still buy on dip. Uh, we talked about 59 being support yesterday. It did get down to 58.77. Uh, but today we think support's going to be around 60 bucks. So we don't, unless there's news that this is all settled. Crude for the next few days is just going to be sort of a buy on dip. 60 bucks today is a place to buy. Let's take a quick look at oh, Euro. Confounded everybody yesterday, Euro. Um, you know, just collapsed. Why? I have no idea. Um, made no sense to me just like I don't know I guess everybody was long going into FOMC had to trim I do I just I just don't know this trend line is something that we're still watching uh, and this will give us um, the juice to go long comes in today at uh, the daily comes in at 97 obviously the four hourly will come in lower. 96. And on the one hour, um, yeah, still 95, 96. So, not much to do down here. I mean, we're not going to fade this uh, after such a bearish day. We're just going to sit and watch. Uh, but we will be getting long euro eventually when we break this trend line. Let's look at dollar CAD and CAD yen because of this oil. Stubborn dollar CAD just sitting up here. Um, we do think you can sell high ones here. Uh, we traded it from the short side yesterday. Just made nickels and dimes. Uh, we do like, just because of this oil price, uh, selling high ones in dollar CAD. Uh, and if you're following with us, short Aussie selling dollar CAD, that means technically we're short Aussie CAD intermittently. So this, 
if you like these funky crosses we think Aussie CAD's probably gonna go lower just based on the charts uh, we don't have any great macro story here but um, something that is sort of just a proxy of, of, of what we're doing dollar Swiss again no clue um, this gets just important I guess I mean there's no other way to describe it if it gets up through 99.50 and even more important through 99.75 based on the geopolitical I wouldn't buy dollar Swiss uh, based on my bullish outlook on euro I wouldn't buy dollar Swiss but cannot deny that bar yesterday obviously SMB's on on deck this week we'll see what those guys have to do if they do something funky and dovish maybe that's what's going on here I don't know just confusing um, but bullish day yesterday the important levels uh, now basically 99.50 dollars are slow burner uh, traded down to 58 at the fix yesterday that was a chance to to grab some cheapies and we had left hand side dollars are fix uh, we did not play that game, but this should continue higher. Um, dollars are oil prices at these levels, uh, and at the speed at which it's gone up is not good for any EM country. Uh, so dollars are should go higher, which is a good segue to stocks. How stocks are holding up, I have no, it just makes no sense to me. We are trading this on the short side. We do not think uh, this gap will get filled. We did get up to 07 last night as I'm speaking, so it almost filled. Um, 0850 would be the exact exact gap fill. Um, core short stocks, you know, just on geopolitical and also now on chart. You had this big move up from 2811 straight line all these green bars should have some natural movement back down to 2950 so core short stocks uh, is also the way finally euro swiss again uh, doesn't make a lot of sense to us we did see some left hand side movement late in the european day euro swiss yesterday and now we're sitting here at our lows um, this should be lower um, but we're just using it as a barometer to maybe give us a signal to add to our stock position. Um, so if you're, if you're watching crude and you're watching Euro Swiss, you kind of get a feeling for what's going on uh, risk-wise. And finally, um, fixed income. Uh, we are sellers of fixed income here, even though it's risk off. We're offering ZN between 15 and, and, and 30. Uh, we are core short boons. Took a little pain yesterday, but we're short from very good levels. So uh, we are looking to resell more boons uh, on the 173 handle between 173.20 and 50. Uh, we said it on Twitter. We'll say it here. Uh, we think the rate cycle has changed in Europe. They will go no lower uh, on their rates. And fiscal uh, help is coming, and this is negative for fixed income. That's our story, and here's our chart. I mean, it's turned. So, I mean, this shouldn't get back below 50 basis points, um, but really 60 is a mega support. So, anywhere between 50 and minus 50 and minus 60 basis points, you want to sell the boomed contract okay I've said enough um, have a great day guys make some dough out there why not you deserve it um, as a lot of you know I'll be talking with Dale today uh, chit chatting about a lot of these charts and life and trading uh, on his little channel uh, we like Dale uh, seems like a solid dude uh, so catch me on that if you feel like it uh, otherwise, have a good day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.